If you think that was magical, you should meet this next guy. I'm Kyle Littleton, and I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. I used to weigh 350 pounds, so I've since lost 150 pounds. Losing weight has definitely been a major confidence booster, feeling way more comfortable to get up on stage, and it's uh, been tremendous. Growing up, people would compare me to Paul Blart Mall Cop. Uh, we both have online dating accounts that might as well be inactive, and we both believe peanut butter fills the cracks to a broken heart. Movies and movie theaters were a great way for me to escape the pressures of just growing up. You know, you're filled with so many questions, and movies were a great way to escape. The trick I have prepared shows my love of movies, and so I'm very excited about that. Our next magician just turned 21, and now he's in Vegas. What could possibly go wrong? Give it up for Kyle Littleton. Thank you all so much. Thank you. You know, they say it takes a lot of confidence to get out here on this stage, but I was sheltered and homeschooled, raised by my overly Baptist mother. Those are not the ingredients of a man of great confidence, but instead the next Norman Bates. <laughs> See, being homeschooled, one of the few ways I knew how to relate to people was through movies. In fact, I believe you can tell a lot about a person by the kind of movies they do and do not enjoy. So with that being said, there's someone here who I am very excited to meet and get to know. Please welcome to the stage, Ralphie May. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, Pat. This is going to be exciting. Hi, guys. <laughs> the biggest magic trick they pulled all night, the only way they fooled you is having me show up without y'all seeing me the whole day. <laughs> it's incredible. Ta-da. Ta-da. Well, great. Ralphie, I think it's important to note for everyone here that we haven't said anything up. We haven't even met before, correct? No. Great. No. Very exciting. So with that being said, let's get into this, okay? Do it. Great. So I brought with me some movie titles here. And uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to go through them and just kind of read them off to you. And as I do that, I just want you to give me a yes or no answer as to whether or not it's a movie you enjoy. Okay. Now, if you haven't seen it, that's just fine. We'll just count it as a no. That way you're not being judged on anything you haven't seen. Okay. If you say yes to a movie, we're going to set it here. If you say no to a movie, we're going to set it over here, all right? Okay. Now, the first film we're going to use as an example. So it's Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Now, maybe this is a movie Penn and Teller would say yes to because it's a film all about magic. But maybe it's a movie I would say no to because I was raised Baptist. Therefore, I can go to hell just for thinking of watching this movie. <laughs> Anyways, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, yes or no, Ralphie? Yes. Yes. So it'll go right over here in the yes section, OK? OK. Now, next is American Pie. Maybe this is a movie Allison would say yes to, because it's one of the movies that started her career. Maybe it's a movie I would say no to due to the fact that the themes of this movie have nothing to do with my life, especially after having to promise my parents I'd stay pure till marriage, a promise I have kept with very minimal effort. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So with that being said, Ralphie, we're interested in you. Hey, American Pie, yes or no? Man, anything with pie, I'm all in. Okay? <laughs> anything with pie. We're not. Definitely. That is a great movie, yeah. Great. We're in agreement. Plus, she's standing right there, so it works wow. out great. She's amazing. Yes. So we're going to put this here. All right, next we have Fast and Furious 7. Yes or no? No. No. Great. You know what? This is so much fun. Why don't we bring Allison over? Give Allison a big round of applause. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping, Allison. So next we have La La Land. Yes or no? I didn't see it. Oh, so we'll count it as a no. That's OK. All right. All right. Next, we have Star Wars. Yes. Uh, yes, definitely. Appropriately following Star Wars, the 40-year-old virgin. Oh, well, it's a really good movie, but yeah. But I wouldn't so, watch it with my kids, and so I only watch no? good movies, so I have to say no. OK, that was really long-winded, but we're with I you. Know. Great. <laughs> Next. A few good men, yes or no, Ralphie? Truth. You can't handle the truth. Yeah, I love exactly. it. Great. I love it. <laughs> Moving on. Yes. All right. Deadpool. Allison. I only watch kid movies. Oh, well, this is going to be a very I fun. Know. Great. Uh, <laughs> Silence of the Lambs. Uh, if I say no, do I get the hose again? Uh, no. Okay, uh, <laughs> then I'm going to go yes. Great. Jaws. I actually have never seen Jaws. Wow, there's a lot of, okay, great, no Jaws. Uh, remember, Ralphie, unlike my mother, the audience is not judging you by your answers. Okay. Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm not into that. I just like chicks. I don't want to hit okay. them or nothing. 
Uh, the Martian, a movie where Matt Damon's character could definitely relate to the loneliness of a homeschooler. <laughs> well, I love Matt Damon, so sure. Sure, definite yes. The Wolf of Wall Street, Ralphie. Oh, that was that was fantastic. It's what we learned all about quaaludes. Okay, yeah, we're going with that one. <laughs> yeah. Sausage Party, Allison. I feel like I know where you're going with this, but your choice. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Okay, great. It's a no. That's fine. We're all with you. Frozen, Ralphie. Wouldn't know. <laughs> I got kids. I've seen that movie a thousand times. No, 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 no. Last but not least, we have Psycho, a film which, rather or not you enjoyed, you have to admit, it was great to see Hollywood finally recognize guys with mommy issues. Ugh. Allison, yes or no? I mean, it's Hitchcock. You've got to say yes. Yes, yes. Ah, this is so exciting. I'm ecstatic right now. I I'll prove to you why. See, this is the pile of all the movies you said yes to. This is the pile of all the movies you said no to. In fact, if we look, Allison, I'll show you. This is a movie you said no to, Frozen. See, there's a big difference. Frozen, we have Sausage Party, Fifty Shades of Grey, Jaws, even Deadpool is a movie you said no to. But if we look, not only did you say no to this movie, Allison, but I also said no. See, not only did you say no to the 40-year-old virgin, Allison, but we also said no. In fact, La La Land, which you said no, even Fast and the Furious, which you said no, I said no to. Now, if we look over here, these are all the movies you said yes to. And just like with the nose, you can see every movie, The Wolf of Wall Street, you said yes. The Martian, you said yes. The Silence of the Lambs. In fact, if we were to speed this up, you can see every movie you said yes to, I said yes. Every movie you said no to, I said no, proving we were meant for each other. And thanks to Ralphie May, you can see him appearing nightly in Harris. Thank you very much. Thank you, it's such Thank a pleasure. You. Good luck, buddy. Aww. Aww. So did you invent this trick? Yes, yes, I came up with this trick after uh, I was driving with my cousin, and I kind of had the idea for the trick, and I said, you got to take me home, so we canceled all plans, and she drove me home, and I realized that if I ever get a wife, I should never do that to her, but then I also remembered I lived in South Carolina, so dating your cousin really isn't out of the question. <laughs> what I'm basically saying is I find, like love, you can find inspiration anywhere. And do you have a girlfriend? Oh, do, no, do I have a I do not have a girlfriend, <laughs> and uh, when you're my age, everyone kind of pressures you into, when are you getting married, and to me, marriage is a lot like the Hunger Games, you know, like, people, when you say you're going in the Hunger Games, everyone's rooting for you, but deep down, they know you're not going to make it, so. <laughs> All right, well, this might be a lot like talking to your mother. Oh. Let's talk to Penn and Teller. All right. Well. You've just done everything to please us, haven't you? Haven't you? <laughs> a little bit of blasphemy made us so made us so so happy. You've also done something which is to take a uh, a card trick, uh, a wonderful card trick, and turn it into something else. Turn it into something that ties in with your homeschooling, love of movies, all of that. Also, it was pretty wonderful to see. I mean, Ralphie May is as much of a pro as you're going to get, and it was wonderful to see you out there really comfortable at 21 years old, kind of your first time out, doing wonderful uh, interplay with Ralphie. I thought that, was, that was really good, and with Allison too. But I mean, uh, it, was just, it was just wonderful to see. We think we have a slight idea how you might have done the card trick, but we okay. thought that the whole act was out of this world. Oh, just thank fabulous, you. Just fabulous, wonderful. Oh, fantastic, thank you. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> that means, much like my mom, I can't fool them. <laughs> Just getting warmed up. More magicians on deck.